Hello Libra and welcome to your May 2020 mid-month reading. This is for Libra. Libra, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Libra, this is for you. If this resonates with you, Libra, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Libra, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Libra out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Libra. This is for Libra. What is going on with Libra? What is going on with Libra? Okay. Okay, so you look good here, Libra. You're looking pretty strong, all right? You look very strong here, very independent very um, in control of your life, of your finances, that kind of thing. Waiting on the right person, the right offer to come along. But I see a lot of waiting here. I see a lot of waiting. And I see a lot of um, cups not being fulfilled. So um, I think you simply have decided to stop waiting you're not getting what you need out of a, of a situation. Decisions are not being made. And I feel like you are completing some sort of a cycle here. And I feel like you're strong enough at this point to kind of let it go. To just walk away from it and go explore other options, other situations. Because you keep waiting for an offer from someone and it just doesn't, it does, it just doesn't uh, materialize for you. They, um, whatever they need to do, it's not happening. And I think you're getting very tired of the wait. And I feel like you're, you're looking, you're moving on to something more substantial for you. So you look good here, Libra, with this Nine of Pentacles, single lady card, right? Single person card, male or female, absolutely does not matter. So you got it going on. You're independent. You can take care of yourself. You can take care of those around you that need it. You are standing strong here. And if somebody's not giving you what you need, you are free to move. You're free to go, right? And I feel like you know that. All right, let's see what's going on here. This is what you're heading towards. You're heading towards some sort of wish fulfillment. Where you have been, you haven't gotten that, right? You haven't gotten, um, your dreams have not come true with this person. Let's, let's say that. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody with strong Aquarius in your chart. But I see you moving towards something else, someone different, Right? I see you following a star here. And I'm just going to kind of jump the gun here, Libra. So your wish fulfillment, you're realizing, is out there somewhere else. You see that? I feel like, you know, you're looking up at the night sky. You see this guy. He's looking up at the night sky. He's following some sort of dream. He's following some sort of wish fulfillment here. And it's not being stuck in a cycle of waiting. And I think you're waking up to that fact. This is a huge shift for you. This is a huge transformation that you've been going, um, that's been going on with you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. Um, a lot of obstacles here. A lot of lessons to be learned uh, with this past individual, but you're moving on towards that sun, right? There's bigger and better things out there for you, Libra, and I feel like with this transformation and this changed mind that that's going on with you in regards to this person that keeps you 
in limbo that keeps you waiting, I feel like it's you're just waking up. This is your own personal transformation. This is a changed mind. Libra is changing their mind. And it's been a, a long time of indecision here, right? It's been a stalemate, no movement, no decisions being made, nothing. And you've been like, you've put the, the blindfold on in regards to this person. They don't give you what you need. And it's like, sometimes you make excuses for this person, this past person. I feel like with this death card, death to old ways and new beginnings here, I feel like you're waking up to the fact, you're taking this blindfold off and you're waking up to the fact that there's not going to be any movement here. There's not going to be any decisions that are going to be made. So I feel like you're kind of stepping back in control and you're making the decisions now. And you're, you're moving in different directions because I see some sort of line of communication uh, opening up with new energies, right? And this may help you on your way to wherever it is you're going, right? Because you're going somewhere else, Libra. All right, Libra, I'm going to be reading the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with, have dealt with, will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. So you can be dealing with the situation like this right now in the future some of you may have already dealt with a situation like this um what else cross watchers keep in mind some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so um yeah assign the roles as you wish here okay so heart of the situation it breaks your heart it breaks your heart and it makes you feel terrible that this person cannot make a decision, cannot fully give you what you need. It makes you feel less than and it hurts. Okay, but don't um, don't take that in. Don't, I wouldn't take that too personally. It's, uh, it's this person that needs to do the changing. This person that needs to have their own transformation, their own awakening. And they need to figure out what they want, right? In the meantime, you got a, you got other things to do. If they can't give you what you need, you got you got to move on, right? Libra's changed their mind. Libra's done waiting, basically. And does it hurt? Yeah, it does hurt. You gave a lot of time and energy to this individual, and it's still nothing materialized. That offer did not materialize. Three of Swords, this is... Um, air energy, right? So you're just kind of done. You're just kind of done. And the challenge is the waiting. The challenge is, are they properly putting an effort towards you? I, are they, you know, are they tending this garden? Are they nurturing the situation? And the waiting, right? Somehow us Libras always end up waiting. Why is that? We're going to have to dive deeper into that one, Libra. I'm a Libra also. Seven of Pentacles, this is Earth energy. There was a lot of waiting, a lot of time, a lot of energy put into this situation, especially on your part, and but the success wasn't there. You didn't get the success that you wanted, and that is the challenge. Your advice? Close, a, close this cycle. Close this cycle. And move forward. It's time for Libra to have new chapters. This is you changing your mind about a situation. After giving it all you've got. After giving 110, 200% to a situation. And not getting anything in return. That's what this is all about. Or very little in return. So now, after you've done everything you possibly could do. You've changed your mind, and now your advice is to close this. Close it. They're going to have to, if they, if they ever figure this out, if they ever transform themselves, they're going to have to come to you. And when they come to you, you may have already moved on with other energies. I'm just going to put it flat out like that. 
and it may be a little bit too late for them because your focus I see is on some sort of back and forth communication. I feel like new energy is coming in. It's very fast paced, right? So there is new energy out there. Like you, you're going towards some sort of wish fulfillment. You're going towards some sort of, of dream, some sort of want here. And um, it's out there somewhere and you are determined to make that happen. You're, you're done. You're done standing still. You need some, Libra needs action, action, action. It's time to move, right? And if this past person can't move, which they it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be happening right now, you're going to move. So fast moving energy, lots of communication. There's lines of communication opening up with something, someone here. The outcome is, like I said, you, you're following your, your hopes. You're following your dreams. You're following your wants. You're following your wishes. You're following the start. You're going towards something new because this person left you empty. They did not give you what you needed. And are you kind of like looking at time, you know, kind of like, are you watching me walk away here? Maybe a little bit. Maybe there's maybe a little bit of that. But you know what? They need to see it. They need to see you walking away because I feel like you really got taken advantage of here, Libra. Eight of Cups, that's water energy. You could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart, right? Um, this person needs to move. They need to move. If And I feel like they want to move. They can't move. And I'm surprised like the Eight of Swords isn't here. Like they're surrounded. They're, they, they have... Um, it's almost like a self-imprisonment. They, they've got them. They can't make any decisions here. They're stuck. in either in a situation or their own mind. And the whole, the whole thing, you're, you're not getting what you need. So it's time for you to go. See, they're not following their heart. This, this person that you're dealing with is not following their heart. You could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart. If they would only follow their heart... Things would be a lot different, but it's stagnant. Close connection, yeah, but somewhere down the line, this person's going to have to figure it out, and they're going to have to move towards you. You've done all you can do. It's time for Libra to get some wish fulfillment here, and if this person wants to follow their heart, you know, they're going to, they're going to have to, it, it's going to be towards you. Their heart is with you. However, like I said, I see those swords around them like they're trapped. They're, it's, and it's almost like a self-sacrificing a self thing that they're doing. This is for Libra. This is for Libra. Please clarify that Eight of Cups for Libra. What are you headed towards, Libra? Where are you going? What did I just say? New love. You want new love. You want your cups to be overflowing here, right? And you're letting your intuition guide you, which is absolutely beautiful with the High Priestess here. The High Priestess knows when it's time to go. The High Priestess knows that they need to walk away from the situation and move towards some sort of wish fulfillment here. What are you wishing for? You're wishing for love, Libra. And this is exactly where you're headed. You're, you're headed towards somebody that can give you what you need, give you the love that you need. Right there. That's beautiful. Follow your intuition here. It's almost like you're being guided right now.
let's pull some romance angels and see what's going on this is for libra for their mid-month reading what is going on with libra 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 So it's like you've been waiting for this person to come around. You've been waiting for this person, right, to reconnect. Someone from your past is returning to your life, and they never returned. And it's this it's toxic cycle that just keeps going on and on and on. And it's almost like you're saying to yourself, you know, and here, I see this, you see this cycle that needs to end, and then this cycle that needs to end. This cycle of waiting for somebody right here, right here, right? It's just not happening. And I feel like you're changing your mind about the whole situation. The blindfold is off. You're seeing things a little bit clearly now. It's, your, your intuition has kicked into high gear right now, Libra with that high priestess here and you know this person is still stuck wherever they're stuck and they're not following their heart right now because if they would follow their heart you guys would have uh, done this reconciliation a long time ago you guys would be together right here right now but that's not the case they can't complete a cycle wherever they're at they can't complete it they can't move they're stuck but you can complete this cycle, this cycle of waiting for them to be unstuck. And guess where you're headed? Once you free yourself from this and you move forward, Libra, you got some new love coming. That's where you're headed. So close this chapter, move forward. And if this person ever decides to make a decision and follow their heart, this past energy, that you've been waiting on success for. If they ever do move towards you, that's that's great, right? Maybe you'll accept them with open arms when the time is right. Maybe you're going to be moving on to um, new energies. Maybe Libra is getting ready to take a leap of faith and fall in love and have their cups filled, right? Libra is having a change of heart. Libras haven't has changed in their mind right now. You're having a transformation. You're having a little bit of a wake up call here. You're not happy, so it's time to go. You're not getting what you need, so it's time to close the chapter and go get some love. Libra needs some love, right? So Libra's going to go get some love. And it looks really nice. A lot of communication here. A lot of communication. And you look good doing it, by the way. All right, Libra, that's what we've got for um, your mid-month reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Um, for those that are new to the channel, welcome. I do have a... Uh, live schedule and a weekly schedule the live schedule um, I usually go live every day but Saturday and the weekly schedule um, uh, the weekly schedule will let you see when your weekly reading will be released all that information is down below in the description box um, for the social for my socials please do follow the links that I provide down below because um, there's some imposters out there. Just want want to want to let you know that if I could talk. Um, for the, for those that are new to the channel, welcome. And if I didn't say that before, and next week, Libra, I'm going to be working on the uh, future love reads for everyone. So check that out. And I think that's about it. I think that's all we got. Libra, you have a beautiful. A week and you take very good care of yourself and um, I cannot wait to see how this develops right you guys take care stay safe stay healthy out there and I will talk to you very very soon God bless